everybody and welcome once again to Danny and Sons Real Tech Mod Pack. This episode we're going to build the excavator, I hope, and get it running. I've never done this before, so it's another new first for me. And I'm just having a look here and you can see there's a fair bit of pollution above my head. But it's clearing up quite quickly, I think, because of the multi-farms below. Um, the two multi-farms. So let's start with this one. I'll put my hand back on first of all. <laughs> um, I've got all the bits ready. So let's go and get those and get started. They're in here. I've got them in, in the case here and in, in a chest in here so we can pick them all up and get the bits we need. I should, should turn that on first, shouldn't I? <laughs> so as you can see, let's get the book out and we can have a look at what we've got here. So we need the uh, excavator. Here we go. And this is the block. So we've got nothing at, at the moment. So let's take the first row of this lot and we should have everything we need in here for the excavator. Indeed we have. And the next one of these is the um, Better Than Dwarf. So this is the, it doesn't actually tell you what it is, does it? But it's the actual wheel of the excavator, or the, the, the bit that does all the work. And that's this lot. So I did make enough steel for doing that. And I've got a completion block here. I think I might have with me my uh, backpack. If I've got my backpack and get rid of it, I have a look. So I've got my diamond respirator, which I don't need. I just need the, the, the vacuum pack and the diamond pack. So let's just put that on and get rid of this stuff because it, you never know. It's always a good idea to get rid of these things inside. It was only one level, so that's good. That's, uh, now, of course, you can't right click anything because it wants to pick everything up. Let's put that back and also need to remove this, of course, and put back the, where's it gone to, the Faraday chest plate. I don't need this again. I'm going to actually leave the back here. We'll take it with us. Now, this chunk is the interesting chunk that this one's in, because there's a cinnabar vein here as well. I haven't done any more exploring around. Um, in fact, I don't know whether I've got the bits with me. Let's, just, let's move the book over here and get the engineers back out here and have a look if we've actually got... No, I think I left everything behind in, in the other base. So what I want to do is press F9 and see which blocks we can use for doing this one. So it's still this chunk here. So I've got... I think I've got enough space here. I don't need this yet. So let's remove these out of the way and use the soaked up pick so I can pick up these blocks. Uh, we don't need the generator. We don't need the two uranium blocks. Uh, in fact, I think I might have run out of space in my inventory now. Yeah, that's fine. Nothing else I can put in there. But we've got enough. We've got. I think we've got enough space for what we need to do today. So let's start with this lot. Um, right. Okay. First thing to do, of course, is to get the projector out and combine that with the book. To see what we've got i think this is the okay it's the display for making the bucket wheel okay so it's the bucket wheel um so i reckon this goes in the actual chunk itself but i think it also goes below let's just have another look at the book again because uh i don't need the, i don't need that for the time being so if we have a look at this uh, i think if we can actually stop it and you can have a look it doesn't really help that much because that just shows you the bits but let's go back here no i think we have to go th one forward so let's just stop this one i've got a feeling it's got to go two blocks below the surface it looks like it has hasn't it so you pause it and you can then go down oh that's up a level try going the other way one block and that's five blocks so we need to dig a hole of five blocks i think so i guess it's going to be here so let's have a look so let's start with these five blocks and of course we've got can use anything to break dirt now is this going to be enough space i think it is um now i need a pick of course i'll use a silk to pick for the time being go and get this dirt it's night time so i'm gonna to have to take a quick sleep and i'll do that and make this hole in the middle and i'll come back in a second so i made the hole and it's come down it's come out below. Let's have a look. It must be this must be where the farms are. Let's just jump down, pick up the bit, take the damage. Yeah, it's the hole from the farms. That's fine. Doesn't matter about that one. Let's go out here. As you can see, things are being produced at high rates. Let's turn off that F9 again. We don't need that. 
Apples don't seem to be getting as much apples as I would like to get. And as I said before, I'm going to be changing those to potatoes, I think. So we now got to go through the uh, very overgrown fields here from the uh, pollution that's above our heads. If I break it, of course, the pollution will go down faster, but I'll let the farms do the work, I think. So now we need one. Oh, I didn't pick up that block because, of course, because I've got no space in my inventory. Just thinking about dealing with that. Actually, let's just put some of the stuff into here. We don't need the thermal electric generator, do we? So we can get rid of those. I'll keep the builders one with me just in case. So right. So now I guess that the steel block goes down. Uh huh. How am I going to get this into position? Can I do it like that? Ah, yes, I can. There we go. So if I right-click this one here, it should be okay. I think it's not really helpful, <laughs> but I know there's a steel block in the on the corners, isn't there? So let's put the steel block down here like that. And then on top of that, we need. I'm probably going to go to the book for that actually. So we'll look at the book. So let's go back one page and go uh, un unstop it, pause it. So with the, then we've got three steel scaffolding and a block. So let's do those three. So we'll have a block at each end here like this. And then there's going to be three steel scaffolding in the middle of those. Hopefully I don't have to do this well. Like that. And then it wants... I'm just thinking it's actually in the wrong position, but uh, I can't see of a way of getting this down further. Let's have a look at this thing. If I click it, and that'll put it somewhere else. Ah, tell you what, let's break away this. Let's break away this dirt here, and also break away this stone block, which can fall down. See so if we can actually get it into the right permission position. Let's have a look. What's that say? I think that's still not right. Yeah, I thought this one might be. Just I thought this one might be tough. Let's have a look. Oh yeah, is, no, that's right. Look, we've got five steel scaffoldings above that one, so we can put those down. It's no problem. Ah yes, this is working just fine. Good. So we got another steel scaffoldings here and here, and then probably want some blocks. Let's move this out of the way. Don't need the pickaxe for the time being. Get that in the hand. It should show us. It does. Good. The steel blocks going into place. I hope I have got enough space here. <laughs> now, it gets a bit more difficult as we've got to go up. I wonder if I can reach. Oh, yes, I can. Good. I think, at least I think I can. No, I can't. Tell you what I'll do. I'll put some scaffolding down here. I don't need these. The challenges of building something, I don't know. Right, good. Uh, hopefully it's not going to knock this wire off. Probably will do, but there we are. We can we can cope with that. Ah, yes, this is good. It's actually got the right patterns. Yep, knock the cable off, and so we need two more steel blocks here and here, and then there'll be one in the top here which I can't reach. So that's then completed. Do we have to click this, or is it automatic? We have to do it, then I'll have to get the hammer out. And I'm going to pick this cable up over here to start with. So that was coming from around here. Okay. Ooh. Because that turns off the light, so we've got a bit of danger at the moment when it gets to night time. But we'll cope with that. And I'll figure a way out of that in my own time outside this. So let's get... I would guess that we have to hit the hammer on this somewhere. Um, I'm not sure whether we have to do the whole structure or not. And let's look at the book again doesn't tell you anything does it no it looks like you have to do this one and then you have to structures composed of two pieces the engineering of the first page and the bucket wheel displayed on the second the braces of the engine are displayed in the previous page the energy input the sides the back of oh, which is redstone okay digs up fours doesn't tell me where I have to hit it with the with the hammer let's get the hammer out uh, in fact let's get this book ready for the next machine we go back to this page here and then we should be able to do it no you think it'd be easier than this wouldn't you so um let's have to put these two together 
press W on that one, it'll bring it out. Let's put this one down here and put the book down here. So now we should be able to see this going into position if I get it into hand. Now this is a lot more difficult. <laughs> so it's high and it's not appearing until I move it around. So let's rotate this, that looks good. Um, which block do I have to hit here? I guess it's something like this. Let's have a look. I might need to be one bl block back, which it looks like I do have to be one block back. So let's do, shift right, click that off until again and do it over here. Of course you, um, maybe you have to look at the book again, let's have a look at the book. I suppose you, until you've done this once you've got not much of a chance, so the pincers go around here, like that, let's just pause that and go up. Okay, so the next page is the wheel and these two. Ah, so it's sticking out a complete block on the front. Here's what I was expecting it to do. Um, I'm hoping to attach it from the back. Can you, we can rotate this, can't we? Yes, that's right. And where does the power go to? I think the resistance signal's here. The radiators are here. I'm not sure if it's this side or that side. Um, let's just stop it and we can see yes okay so it's this side here so it's on the right hand side three power connectors on the right hand side i hope we can reach it with this thing here but no guarantee so let's just uh, come back again with this let's put it down over here so middle button looks like it's this end okay good I think that's probably right. Let's go around here and have a look. It's either one block too far forward or it's okay. I think that's fine. Let's try. Let's try that one. First of all, we'll start with these uh, steel sheet metal. Like that. If I've got it wrong, I'll just do it, fix this in my own time. You see what I'm doing anyway, so it's no big deal, is it? It's a radiator block here, and then we've got obviously two iron. Let's move this out of the way and this out of the way. We don't need those in the moment. Let's get the iron engineering blocks and the heavy engineering blocks into our hot bar and the sheet metal. And I'm also going to put the scaffolding down here. And it's still engineering block. That's probably the easiest way to do it, isn't it? scaffolding it sort of seems reasonable sort of three in the middle so let's gonna finish those off on the other side I know the space is a little bit tight here um, and I'm gonna be dead honest with you I'm not happy with that <laughs> but I you know you can't do much about it comes three of those on that side there and then we've got a one on the other side let's come put that one in like that. Then of course we've got the sheet metal coming in next. I can see sheet metal here and here. And two around the other side here. So next thing is the engineering blocks. These are slight engineering blocks. Redstone engineering blocks. Put that one down here. Uh, what else have we got now? We're missing here. Oh, that's a heavy engineering block. Let's put that one down here. And I've got the feeling that these two are also heavy engineering blocks. Oh, no. They're fine. We're missing. Alright, so we've done that level. So now we can go up to the top level now. So these are, okay, heavy engineering block over this corner here. And I can't reach it, so let's put down some scaffolding. Of course, it's night time yet again, so I'm going to have to have another quick sleep because we've got no power around, so the mobs will spawn in this area. So I'll do that now and come back in a few seconds. 
So then what have we got in our hand here? So we've got... Okay, those are on the other side. I think this is heavy, isn't it? So I've put that down here. And there's two more over there, but... I th oh no, those are radiator blocks. You see, I've, I've got the scaffolding here. I need to put some scaffolding down here. So let's put a block of scaffolding down here like this. So the two radiator blocks go there. Then we've got the light engineering blocks, three on here. And there must be another one on this side, and then we've got some small sheets, steel sheet metal. Oh, in fact, the rest of it is, and I think that's it. it looks like my inventory is getting empty, like that. And then we've this one's completed, fantastic. So now, where do I hit it with a hammer? <laughs> that's a challenge. Let's get the bag out. Let's get the hammer out. Where are we going to hit this thing? I guess possibly either the redstone block here or this one. There we go. So, challenge complete. So hopefully these connectors I can connect up to, the, to this cable over here. Now this cable's too high, so what I'm going to do is break it off. It goes nowhere. Um, so we just need the axe. Let's just pick an axe here. See, I just put up one one piece of um, uh, ladders here so you can actually get up to the top of it like this so we break this off and then it'll drop the bits like that and we can put that one over here so this is actually three high so that's this level isn't it three high is because of safety as much as anything else so i can put it here and i don't know that we need all three of these this is what's a bit confusing to me actually so let's let's right click the hammer onto this one here and that puts the arm out and then we could put the uh, relay here and then we can connect the relay back up to the HV wire coil to the one over here like that and I have got my armor on so if I do touch it shouldn't give me a shock like that now I've got the LV wire connector that gets picked up of course and let's get some more HV wire cable out of here. I think probably two will be enough. Um, maybe even one. Oops. It looks like one's... I don't know. I've never done it before, so let's just try it with one. Of course, I need a cable on here, don't I? A connector on here. So let's get a few. I love these things going down to the ground with like high voltages. So hard at the best of times. I don't think we can connect it directly onto that, can we? No, we have to use a connector. Now we can connect it. Oh, and it's moving already. My goodness. So that's interesting. I didn't expect it to move straight away. And sure enough, it's picking up redstone ore. Look at this. Now, where does that go to? It's going to get thrown out somewhere. So I've got to figure out now where it's getting thrown out. Oh, it's getting thrown out the back. How about that? So there we have it. One excavator, and let's go and quickly go forward already. My goodness, that's uh, that's quite impressive. And the generator's not running, so it must be using the power out of the accumulator from the capacitor. Oh, the engine is running, sorry. I lie. <laughs> you can hear it. Let's get just a chest. I'm sure I've got a chest around here. He won't fill that more than the chest with this, like, even with 38,000. Mm, that's. 40,000 ores, that's a good question actually, I'm not 100% sure. So basically I've got unlimited redstone ore now, which is great. Because <laughs> it's always one of those things, if you can find anything, is that going to be popped into here? So, yeah, sure enough, I'm sure they're getting into here, let's show those into there. Now of course with this cinnabar ore from Geolysis, we just use the, the, the pick with luck three on it. And break these blocks down and we get quite a lot of redstone i reckon they're going to get about anything actually between eight and twelve i think i'm maybe been wrong i've got that one do we get this time seven not quite eight there we are so this thing is running how about that then and of course you're getting the pollution going up there which of course is feeding the the farm uh i'm producing wow that's a lot of ore coming out of here look at that fantastic oh it's actually getting spit out here as well but obviously be careful i think i don't think there's two exits either that maybe that was already there from before so let's put 1743 wow okay 
well, that's it for this episode a bit shorter than the last one bees sorry about that um but we have an excavator in operation so what i'm going to do next is to basically i need to fix this farm you look on the left hand side now the the, the blocks are bl backing up there <laughs> so he's, hopefully he doesn't have to worry about whether or not it'll blow up the generator or the diesel engine because it's a it produces a lot such a lot of pollution anyway i raised a question about this so until next time i wish you all the best bye for now